I wasn't planning on making this video. This is this is kind of unscripted, very quick video. I've made a couple of videos over the last few days having to do with the eclipse, and specifically I've mentioned the sea star. And one of the things I had mentioned is I was a little concerned about trying to take photos of totality. However, the massive caveat is that the sea star currently has only limited controls for adjusting exposure. But it didn't give you full control. I just noticed that the app had been updated to version 1.16, added recording stabilization in time lapse, added manual lens lifting function, and added manual exposure feature in solar mode. This is huge. But let's quickly kind of review the other feature too. That could be helpful. So I'm turning on the C star. So I've updated the firmware on the C star, and uh, as you can see, I'm connected to the C star. The first thing you notice is next to the little telescope icon, you can now raise the telescope manually, which is great if you want to add the solar filter before. Um, pointing at the going in and to point at the sun. And now I can go into the solar screen and I can say yes, it's installed and ready to go. So here we we're just recording the sun and you can see the exposure is kind of varying because of the clouds. But now there's a new manual uh, option. You, you can change the exposure time, basically the shutter speed. It goes from one millisecond up to a th basically a thousandth of a second up to a few hundred milliseconds. And then the gain is basically like the ISO. And you can see, as I switch it, how it brightens up the image quite a bit. I'm now more confident that these settings will allow capturing of the inner corona and prominences. I think it'll also prevent exposure drift during the, the deeper partial phases of the eclipse. It's a, I think it's a great new feature and incredibly timely. Thanks for watching.